What is going on everyone? I know it's been quite some time since I've made a video. I think it's been just over a month. Um, I've been super busy this summer. I was out on my um, family cottage for a little bit on vacation and then I've been working on quite a few client projects as well um, and just started taking some time to sort of relax um, and not stress too much about video and video production right now. I think a lot of the times we get caught up in always getting the perfect shot and sometimes we don't take a second and just sort of enjoy enjoy the little moments um, instead of trying to get everything on film. But um, school year is starting up again, which means I'm going to be doing lots of videos. Um, I'm only in my last semester of school, so I'm going to have lots of free time to record videos, make YouTube videos, um, and do um, tutorials as well. So today though, we are back in Premiere Pro. You guys seem to like the last Premiere Pro tutorial that I did. It's going quite big um, with the beautiful destinations right on TextFX. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go check that out. Um, it's got over 130,000 views, I think, which is absolutely sweet. So thank you to all the new subscribers. I know there's going to be a lot of Premiere Pro users that have joined the channel. So thank you to you guys. I'm going to be doing quite a few Premiere Pro tutorials um, just for you guys to get caught up on some of the other ones I did for Final Cut Pro. But to all the Final Cut Pro people out there, um, don't worry. Final Cut is still my go-to software. I just like to do stuff in Premiere Pro as well. I think it's a great software and there's a lot of good things about it that Final Cut doesn't have. But for today's video, we're gonna be doing the airplane window transition, which I think looks super clean. I think this is sort of gonna be the new trend of filmmaking is using objects in the frame um, to help create transitions and make smooth storylines um, throughout your edits. Whereas different from like a Luma fade or a smooth zoom or something that is very obvious that it's a transition. Um, this one I think is a little bit more smooth um, because it sort of combines the two into one um, while using objects in the frame. So obviously for this clip, you're gonna need a shot of an airplane window. This could be of you in it. This could just be of you holding it against it. Um, but what's really gonna help is actually if we want the window to be overexposed. So I know this might be counterintuitive because you want good dynamic range, but for this shot, it's going to be much easier if we have the whole window blown out because that makes it super easy to apply our effects to for the transitions. Um, the other thing that is going to help um, for this shot is having something sweet um, that looks out and, but still sort of maintains a high perspective. So for this clip, we're going to be using a drone clip from KOPP in Thailand. Um, it was one of these sort of more elevated drone shots that I had, which I think makes it look a little bit more believable. Yes, I know there's going to be everyone out there that says it's not believable. Um, yes, I know. But that just sort of helps create um, a little bit more smoothness throughout the transition. So we got our two clips here. I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the excess um, that I didn't like. I'm just going to mute it for a sec. Um, so the sh part of the clip that I liked is sort of looking down into the window. So we can start it there. And then for the end of it, um, just sort of when I look up and out. And we'll start something like that. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is we need to move this to our second track. So I'm going to do that now because we're going to slide in our drone shot underneath it because this is what is going to allow us to make the transition. I'm just going to undo that for a sec just so we can trim off this clip as well. So I'll just cut it to a random point like so. And sure, command K, cut that. And then we're going to drag that back into our underneath. So this is sort of how we are going to lay out this transition. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a gradient wipe effect to our top clip here. Because that's, what that's going to do is allow us to take out the window. So I'm just going to search gradient wipe. And make sure you use the one that's within video effects, not within video transitions. We're going to be using the gradient wipe here. Um, and then we're going to keyframe a few different things on it. So if I just zoom into this overlap here, right now we have two seconds of overlap. Um, I'm going to increase that. 
I'm gonna do a little bit more. Um, so roughly three seconds here. So then all we have to do for the transition, it's actually actually pretty simple. Um, so what we're gonna do is keyframe our transition um, here. So just by hitting our animation, and then I'm gonna move forward however much you want, three frames or so, um, or a couple seconds. It's really not gonna make a difference. The hard thing with this gradient wipe is it's not super sensitive. So this window um, sort of disappears really quickly and it's not ideal, um, but that's okay. We'll just hit 20%. And then, so as you can see, the window did not go out. This is the opposite of what we want. So if you just hit invert gradient, that will flip it. And now you can see that our um, clip underneath, our drone clip, is showing through the window, which is exactly what we want. Um, and it doesn't actually look that bad. So one of the things you can do later on is change the color correction and sort of grade them similar to each other or apply the same LUT to both of them. That's really gonna help it make it a little bit more seamless. Okay, so the next step in this is we're just gonna apply one half of a smooth zoom transition to the end of the clip here. Um, so I'm just gonna hit the bottom arrow, that's gonna make, take me to the end, and then I'm gonna hit shift left, and then shift left again. And that's gonna jump 10 frames. I can hit command K. Oops. hit command K on that, and then we can apply a smooth zoom preset. These are all over the place, guys. You'll definitely be able to get them for free. Um, I'm using the Chengda Zoom um, transitions or Kyler Holland. Um, he's got some as well that you can use. There's a whole bunch out there. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you use because they're all pretty much do the exact same thing. So then for the end of this clip here, we're just gonna put the zoom in out and drag that onto here. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna create this zoom as it comes out, which looks really good. Yeah, so that is pretty much the transition. Um, I could let it render through, we'll see. Uh, it's doing some funky stuff here. Okay, sorry about that. There was something happened with the rendering. Um, I was just creating something a little bit weird, but this is the transition after it's done, which I think looks super clean. Like, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section, but I definitely think this is one of the cooler transitions that you can do um, if you have the right footage to it. But it's super easy when you're going on a trip, no matter where you are, if you're taking a plane, you can definitely capture this shot. So that is today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are a Premiere Pro user, thank you for um, subscribing, and hopefully we'll see you guys again very, very soon. I'm gonna be trying to bust out a whole bunch of videos for you guys. So thank you, as always, for all the support. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. I'm posting quite a bit on there as well. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time.